We'd like to greet you in the name of Jesus today. Thank you for tuning in to Notes for the Morning. Those of you that have been following us understand that we have been trying to give scriptures and see thoughts that would help the believer to fight this war against the old man. And the reason for these devotions since January has been because we know that people make New Year's resolutions in the physical. But we wanted to make one this year for 2024 in the spiritual. And that resolution being, we need to increase our spiritual health. And so to carry this idea or resolution out, we put together in January the description of the war itself between the old man and the new man. Then in February, we talked about the place of the war that being the battlefield, that being the mind. And then in March, we talk about the armor of God. And we tried to use Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 18 to describe each individual item of armor, which they all type out the Lord Jesus Christ. So our armor is Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God, Jesus Christ. Then in April, we looked at the action. We noted the posture of defense. That which would be prepared, or, the, or rather the soldier would prepare himself in a manner that he'd be ready to defend the new man. Then in the month of May and June, we talked about the posture of offense. And there we talked about the commencement, the actual engaging of the believer against the enemy. There are four principles that I see that a child of God needs to remember in whatever he's doing for God, in whatever area of obedience he is or she is in. And it is, first of all, we must surrender to the sovereignty of God. We know that our days are numbered by God we know that our months are determined by God and our bounds are set. And so whatever area we're in is where we are located and it's where God has us. And this is where we carry out the action of the kingdom of God. Secondly, we must submit to the will of God. It is the will of God that we have been called unto holiness and not uncleanness. We are to keep our bodies and our spirits in subjection to God that we might bring glory and honor to God because we are a temple of God. We need to be transformed in our mind. We must be renewed in our mind that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Then thirdly, we're going to obey the word of God. We must actually obey the word of God. Whatever the instructions are of God, we need to obey them. And then fourthly, and it's going to be our concluding devotion concerning how to increase our spiritual health for 2024. And that is we must endure unto the end. Now there's four little sub points in our endurance unto the end. One is there must be a decision made that we are going to serve God. And secondly, there must be a doing. There must be an actually, not only hearing, but doing the word of God. Thirdly, there must be a diligence. God only rewards diligence. And fourthly, there must be a determination or an endurance unto the end of this race of faithfulness, this life that we're in, as believers, we must have a determination to fight all the way. The text that we'd like to read today is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. Paul says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not only me, and not me only, Paul said, but unto all of them that love his appearing. So briefly, under that verse, we have the first sub point, a decision. 
Joshua, after he'd led the children of Israel into the land of promise, and he had lived his life, he'd come to the end of the way. These words he speaks, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether gods which you have father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me, Joshua said, and my house, we will serve the Lord. And so briefly, if you're going to increase your spiritual health, you must not only surrender the sovereignty of God, submit to the will of God, obey the word of God, but you must endure unto the end. And so under endurance is the decision that as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. The second sub point, as I have already given you, it is a doing. James writes in James 1 and verse 22, but be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth it himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth the manner of man he was. And so we must be a doer of the word. We must actually receive the engrafted word with meekness, which is able to save our souls. And then we are to actually do it. We're actually to put our feet down in the river Jordan and walk in the ways of holiness and righteousness. And then thirdly, we find the third item, the sub point. And it is a diligence. Not only must we be a doer of the word, but we must be diligent in our doing of the word of God. And so in verse 6 of chapter 11 of Hebrews, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so if we only do what God commands, he said we're unprofitable. But when we have the Samaritan spirit and we go past ourselves, when we go past our self-interest, when we give of ourselves, then we become profitable servants. And being a profitable servant demands that we be diligent in carrying out the word or the instructions of Jesus Christ. And then lastly, a determination. Paul writes in Philippians 3 and verse 12, Now, as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so these things I bring to your attention on this last devotion concerning how to increase our spiritual health. I ask that you, if you've missed any of them, you'd go back to January and come through the devotions, January, February, March, April, May, and June, and see how the Lord has put this plan together, this outline for us to really increase our spiritual health for 2024. I want to say thank you for those who are following these devotions, those that are praying for these devotions to be uh, spread out uh, wherever God would send them, that God would prosper his word as he promised to wherever he sends it. Now let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for all of the spiritual blessings that we have in Christ Jesus. We thank you, God, that you shed abroad your love in our heart. And we know that faith worketh by love. And so we thank you for the gift of faith, whereby we can perceive and see things that are not really there, but yet in the spiritual, they are there. It's the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence are proof of things not seen. And so, Lord, thank you for working in us both to will and do 
of your good pleasure. Thank you, God, that you called us. Thank you called us into the fellowship of Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have made us by the kingdom and that he is our king. We are his servants. We are servants of righteousness that we have been called out of this world that we might be salt and we might be lights in this world, that we might be a witness of the love and mercy and grace of Almighty God in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving us a desire to serve you. Thank you, God, you've given us the strength to serve you. Thank you, God, that you've given us the endurance, enduring power to stand and wait upon thee. Lord, help us. Those that love your appearing, we know that at the end of this journey, we shall receive a crown of righteousness. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me and not for me only a crown of righteousness, but all to all those that love your appearing. Father, we look forward to the day that we're brought from this life to another plane and receive our new bodies whereby we can serve you purely, holy, righteously, and without the old man are with us. So God, help us until that day. Give us the power, the strength, the desire, the diligence. Work in us, O oh God, to increase our spiritual health or increase the knowledge of God for us. Help us to be faithful. Help us to be fruitful. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.